Hey, Rocketry Show fans, it's Daniel the Rocket Noob, and uh, I'm I'm working on the SA-14 Archer from North Coast Rocketry, a little gift from Matt Steele, sponsor of the show, and what I'm doing right now is, uh, is I'm going to uh, uh, build up the motor tube. This is the 29mm motor tube that comes with uh, the kit, and it's very similar to the motor tubes uh, that you find in Estes Pro Series kits, if you're familiar with those. It's 29 millimeters. It's nice and thick. Uh, it is brown, so it is a little slick. Uh, and uh, the problem is that the uh, centering rings are a little bit loose. Now, the instructions say uh, that if that's the case, you can wrap the whole thing in tape and make it a little thicker and then glue everything on. And while I don't, I, I, it's not that I don't trust the instructions, but my masking tape is really, really cheap. And I'm worried that if I just wrap the whole thing in tape, and then what that kind of means is that when I glue my fins on, uh, my fins are going to be attached by really cheap tape. Um, might be just fine, but I'm going to try something a little different. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up another layer of paper. See, these tubes are just basically layers of paper built up by wrapping over and over and over again and gluing them to each other uh, on a mandrel. And that's how these paper tubes are made. Um, and if you search on sites like instructables.com, you will find... Uh, that you can actually make your own paper tubes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like that, except I'm just going to add one more layer to this tube that already exists. And I'm going to be using some craft paper. This is actually a piece of masking paper, which is similar to craft paper, which is very thin. And I think I'm just going to need one layer. So what I'm going to be doing is, uh, is I'm just going to be basically gluing another layer in a spiral. Uh, onto this tube, just like this, all right? And I think that will be enough. I do have an, ex an, extra, sh um, an extra strip of this stuff uh, if I need to do another layer, but I think that'll be okay. So here's what I got. I got some wood glue. Uh, I've got my paper. I have taken some of the shine and slickness off of the tube with uh, some 220 grit sandpaper. I just need to take, it's, it's a, these brown tubes are very, very slick. So I just need to make sure that I get a good bond. I'm just gonna take some of that off, right? I don't need to go too far, just need to make it look uh, not so shiny. Um, I have a craft stick or popsicle stick because I'm gonna thin out the glue with a little bit of water. I have a cheap, cheap paintbrush, which is probably gonna get thrown away after this. And uh, just in case I have some wax paper to uh, wrap the whole thing up when I'm done, if it looks like anything's going to start warping or it needs to be held in place, and then I can I could tape that together. So uh, I've never done anything like, anything like this. Um, it is possible that I might screw this up, but I do have some spare Estes motor tubes, which, as I said, are pretty much the same as this one. Uh, they're just white and not as slippery. And uh, if I mess this up, I'll just try something else. But I think this will work pretty well. So uh, I. Oh, I have some water. I have some drinking water. I was going to go get some water, but I've got it right here. All right, so first of all, I probably have more paper than I need, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit just to make it easier. All right, I'm going to say that is all I need. So I have a spare layer if I need it, but I think this will be just fine. So there are a couple different ways I could go about this. Um, the easy way, I think, would be to point to paint the glue directly onto the tube and just roll the paper on. The problem is if I get some overlap, then I've got bits of this paper that is uh, going to not have glue on it. The instructions on Instructables say to uh, paint a, uh, a layer of glue onto the paper, and what you first do is thin out the glue. So we're going to try that. Or it might for laughs. We'll see. I'm going to thin it down with a little water. Now the instructions say uh, you want to thin this down to about the consistency of eggnog. It's kind of what you're going for. Alright. I'm just going to try and paint this onto the paper.
Now, paper is starting to curl up. We're going to try and put this on here without too much trouble. Alright, so. if I can't get this on at the same angle as the paper's already wound for the tube. A little crinkly. And I've got more than I need, which is good. All right. All right. Try and tighten this down and smooth it out. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to wrap it up in wax paper as tightly as I can and let it dry. That could have gone a lot worse than it did. It was not that hard. Let's wrap the whole thing really tightly in tape. This is just to make sure that uh, any Warping in the paper or any tearing doesn't happen. I'm trying to squeeze everything to the tube just so that it, as it dries, it, it, it adheres to the tube really well. And again, I've never done this before. I'm just trying to do what seems like it needs to be done. And one thing that I will say is when I painted on the glue, it was so thin that it, uh, it was almost like you couldn't really see it. So I might have not gone quite so thin. The point is there's glue on the paper, on the entire surface of the paper. And that is now stuck firmly to the motor tube. I'm just going to let this dry probably overnight. And uh, we'll take a look tomorrow and see what we got. All right, it is 24 hours later, and the glue should be dry, so let's unwrap this and see what we got. Ooh, it looks pretty good. Actually, looks better than I was expecting. Uh, so the crinkles look like they were smoothed out pretty well, and um, it, some of the glue is still a little bit wet, but that feels really solid and really smooth. That actually worked out. Well, that worked out a lot better than I was expecting. So um, you know, obviously, there's a little bit of overhang here uh, that can be cut off with a hobby knife, but. The real test is, have I made the motor tube thick enough? Boy, that is really solidly on there. That's like just a part of the tube. That's so great. All right, have I made it thick enough that I don't need to thicken up anymore? Okay, so looks like I could use another layer. It's a little bit loose still. I mean, that's actually pretty close. I could probably just call it a day. But since that worked so well the first time, uh, and I have some extra... Uh, of the uh, of the paper, I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. But that worked out great. All right, so I think the first I'm gonna do is, uh, since I got you here, I'm just gonna go ahead and, do I wanna take that off now? You know what, no, I'm not gonna take that off now because that, that's just twice the work. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do once again what I did yesterday with this and then uh, we'll unwrap it and see how it looks and see how it fits. That is pretty, pretty cool. All right. See you in 24 hours. All right, guys, it is now 24 hours later again, and uh, 
Let's see if we have achieved what we wanted to achieve. I have to say that, um, so the second layer um, went on a lot better than the first. First of all, I, uh, I used a little bit less water to glue, so it's a little thicker. Um, and um, I think just having had done it one time, um, having done it one time was, uh, was a little easier the second time. It went on a lot more smoothly. Uh, and I got this uh, wax paper on nice and tight, and I got the tape on nice and tight. Um, so. Pretty hopeful this is going to turn out pretty nice. This is so exciting. Oh boy, look at that. All right. I smell it. That so that that does need to dry just a little bit more. But other than that, that is super solid. And uh, let's just check the fit here. Yeah, that's perfect. There we go. So that's nice and tight. So I should be able to. Uh, that's gonna work out great. That is gonna work out so great. So this worked a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I I actually didn't. Exp I wasn't sure it was gonna work out at all. And uh, it was uh, the thing that I knew I wanted to try with this build. And uh, because I knew I wanted to try it, and because I knew I might screw it up, um, I kind of put it off for a long time. So it, this is the thing that kind of held me up from uh, getting really getting started. Um, so all I really have to do now is uh, just take a, a hobby knife and just cut off um, the excess from the ends of the tubes. And then I can just, you know, uh, clean them up with a little bit of sandpaper. Um, so that... Uh, that's going to look nice and, and neat, and uh, it's going to be nice and strong. And uh, this basically, this this paper is now part of this tube. Um, so I can glue the everything right to this. Uh, it's not just that it's attached to the tube. It's actually part of the tube. Because uh, that's, that's how they make paper tubes. They just wrap them over and over again. Um, this came out a lot better than I thought because, uh, you know, I, I knew I had a few crinkles, especially in the first layer. Um, and I, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it, it than it was, but I think wrapping it in uh, wax paper, nice and tight, and taping it all up, um, that really, really did the trick, and helped out a lot. So, all right, there is another technique in the old uh, toolkit for me. There, if ever I need to do that again, uh, I know that I can just uh, add an extra layer of paper to that paper tube, and uh, I'll have a nice strong tube that's built up to the layer I need it. Uh, and this is also the same technique you would use if you wanted to make your own paper tubes, like say if you had uh, a nose cone of a certain size and you happen to have some kind of uh, cylindrical object, like a dowel rod or something of the same size, uh, you could actually use that as a mandrel. And you would put your first layer of paper down and you just tape it down. And you would uh, basically glue the other layers to, to that first layer of paper. All right, so all I got to do is just clean this up and look at that. That is looking pretty good. Uh, I just need to do a little bit more work with the sandpaper and I'm done with that. All right, so this worked out pretty great, um, and now I can move on and build the rest of the rocket, and uh, I don't have to worry about this part. Um, you know, is it going to be too wiggly? Am I am I going to have to build it up with glue or tape? Uh, it's it's good and solid. And at this point, I'm just rambling. I'm just really really pleased with how this came out. So thanks a lot, Matt Steele from North Coast Rocketry. Uh, thanks uh, to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys for being fans of and supporting the Rocketry Show. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.